Hey Jackals, today we will quickly look at the practical system and how to replace them with any kind of media, this being a 3D model of a plane. And you can also use any kind of other objects inside the fusion page, like lights. Now let's get digital. So I'll go to the media pool, right click, make a new fusion composition. I already have a bunch, so I'll simply put it onto the timeline and go into the fusion page. Now we need the particles, so particle emitter, we need a render node. I want to use a camera to position this, so I'll need to render this out because it will be a 3D scene. So the particle render node has to be set to 3D. I can connect this like so. Let me just see what I have in the media pool. So I have an image sequence, so I have six media in total. So for this example, what I'll do is I'll spawn 10 particles and disable them on the next frame and just increase the lifespan to 150. So they last throughout the whole clip. Now, if I want to see the particles, I have to move the camera back. I can see some. Now in the particle emitter to make things easier, I'll change this from point to hang on and the spawn region will be maybe a line. I also have to change the size, maybe something like this, we'll see how it goes. I'll change the temporal distribution, random seems okay. I want to add just a touch of velocity, but I'll do this in the Z direction. So they go towards the camera and maybe I'll just put this a bit together and maybe something like this. So I think I'll just stick with the sphere and increase the size and just go to the end and adjust the velocity to maybe something like this. And now we have the particles and we want to replace them with this media. As I said, this can be anything. So I have 10 images here that stop playing, but I can also go into the media and select loop and they'll play throughout the whole video. And then I have six videos. This one stops prematurely. I can also loop it. And the rest of the videos are more than five seconds long. So the magic happens after the practical render, control space or shift space, replicate. Now, ideally this would be called practical replicate so that you can actually find it under the practical. When you go to the tools and practicals, you won't see it, but it does affect practicals. So now to connect the media ins, because this is a 3D space, you need a image plane, connect it and connect it. And I'll have a bunch of mouse in this case, and I have to loop the clip. Simply repeat this process as many times as you want. And we have now replaced the particles with the video clips. Now, if you would want the videos to be bigger, you can go to the image plane and simply adjust the scale. Now, that's one way how you can use it. You can also use it to replace the particles with 3D models by going to Fusion, Import, and Import either the FBX scene or the Alembic scene, and then go from there and simply connect it to the replicate 3D. But what I want to show you is how to use it with lights because that's what I'll do in my next video. So I'll make a simple scene. I'll use an image plane. As for the particles, I will now make a line. But this time the particles will go to the right. So I'll simply change the angle Z to zero. Maybe something like this. We'll see how it goes. Now in the render node, we need to enable lighting. Otherwise you won't see the lights. I'll simply use a spotlight and make sure that that is the direction that it's looking and see if we have anything yet. We don't. Now with the lights, 
we won't actually see the light moving. So I've positioned the plane back a little bit and now in the spotlight I will simply adjust the cone so that you can see this is actually the lights. So now we have 10 particles that we've replaced with the spotlight and these lights are moving exactly the same as the particles. Now this is how you can replace the particles with any kind of element inside the winch resolve and why I've shown you that is because this is what we'll be making in the next video. And if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification icon so you know when my next video comes out. I'm Simon and until next time Jackals, keep it digital.